According to SS3 Paranormal, a number of people in their house have woken up to others' arms and legs being held up in the air while they're sleeping. They've all paid witness to this, and now it's been captured on security camera. Let's watch. The arm does appear to be held up by some unseen force. It doesn't look natural. Well, this could just be an awkward nighttime spasm. If we trust the uploader's original statement, this has happened to many in the home, which makes me think it's not pure coincidence. What do you think is going on here? A team of paranormal experts head to the abandoned county jail in Gonzales, Texas to prove it is really haunted. After exploring for a while, all of them agree that they are feeling an intense anger for no real reason. Finally, one of them decides to confront whatever is responsible for causing their heightened emotional state. We've been feeling a lot of anger, and I want to know why. The question is met with even greater anger in return. You alright? <laughs> According to them, an invisible hand slides around his throat and tightly squeezes. The retching noises he makes afterwards seems very real. <coughs> he runs out of the building and his eyes appear red and watery immediately afterwards. I feel the pressure right now on my neck. Look at your- man, you gotta see your eyes. I'm gonna flip the screen so you can see your eyes, man. Look at your eyes. Unless he is somehow able to give himself fully red eyes on command, all of this evidence makes me believe that this ghost incident could have been real. Gabby Licht has seen a ghost. Published in September of 2018, Gabby shares her ghost story while also showing footage she captured on camera. The scary video shows the door of her room opening and closing slightly back and forth. She also says the knob is jiggling. When I had a ghost experience, but I'll put the video here. Um, you can kind of see the handle just like wiggling back and forth. And it's kind of weird. It didn't freak me out that bad, but it's kind of strange to have it on video. I showed my parents and it freaked my mom out, but I've had other stuff happen. So it was just kind of interesting to get that one on video. Um, but this next one, I guess. Gabby has been experiencing the paranormal for something like eight years now, and this is just one event she captured on video. Is something trying to communicate with her? It sure seems that way to me. The big question is, what is it saying? Sometimes if you want to know if a room is haunted or not, all you have to do is ask. Move it. Holy sh It's creepy, but I'm not sure this object really moved on its own. It sounds like a fan is blowing from side to side and could have moved the object instead of a ghost. Tell me if you hear it. Holy sh He might have put the bottle at just the right distance to make it seemingly move upon his command. Is this moment paranormal to you? I'm on the fence with this one. Beware of randos crossing the road at night, especially if they look like they've just escaped an asylum. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this creepy clip was discovered on YouTube and originally posted in May of 2020. A couple of men are driving down a highway near Riga one night. When they slow down for a stray individual to cross the road, it's not clear if the person is a man or woman. Whatever the case, they've got long dark hair and are only wearing a large oversized white shirt. The pedestrian slowly starts to cross as the men pull to a stop, but the stranger stops halfway and turns around to face the vehicle head on. For a moment they stand there before heading again on their way. Those in the comments are flabbergasted as the driver from the video, with some saying that's obviously a witch. Well Sony Bravo adds, I was expecting her to lash out to be honest. Talk about an anticlimactic ending. Sandra of Two Dimensional Paranormal goes exploring an Irish graveyard. Some people in the comments are saying she's caught a ghost on tape, so let's take a closer look. The first encounter happens at 9 minutes and 25 seconds. 
clear check the in case there's something in there. Are you smoking? Yeah, because it's just going past the camera. Got my hands are dropping off. The paranormal mist returns about five minutes later at 14 minutes and seven seconds. And I looked at that and I was just about to go there and like turned round. And that's. That, that, honestly, I'm getting freaked. <gasps> What's that? It's not her breath because it comes from the darkness behind her. Not to mention this only happens two times in the 38 minute video. Considering they're exploring a graveyard for spirits, I think this video could very well be real. A YouTuber named Tommy Case is in the basement of an abandoned house when his flashlight crosses over someone wearing an all black and white stretched out face mask. Tommy Case runs away, but soon he has to turn his flashlight back on if he ever hopes to find the exit. Instead, he finds the same person again, but this time he manages to escape without looking back. Since the person just stands there and never reaches out for him, I think this is almost definitely a skit but a well done one all the same. Turn the volume up on this one. Posted to the haunted subreddit, work at home freak 99 writes, I live alone and this is a motion or light activated camera. That's me just turning off the light and heading off to bed. Now listen. A loud gravelly voice says either help, go or come. Depending on which Redditor you ask, personally, I hear the word help in a sort of Yelp fashion. The OP writes, If I had heard that voice, I would have flipped out. They also say the sound came from the kitchen where the camera is set up, because creepy stuff happens there sometimes. Many are saying the voice is creepy AF and sounds like the cookie monster. Regardless, this Redditor should probably try their luck with one of the options currently on the board before this monster takes matters into its own hands. Go. Go. Florida resident Candace Spivey was shopping at Target when she was approached by a stranger. This man started a polite conversation with her, but something was wrong. The same man had done the same thing to her earlier at a grocery store. Do you remember running into me in the grocery store? No, hey, where are you going? Come back. Hey, get this guy. Stop him. Stop this guy. Stop him. Stop that guy. Call the cops. Call the cops on him. Call the cops. As soon as she confronts the man on it, he takes off and she follows him out of the store. Apparently, this was a registered offender who secretly recorded women. This just goes to show you never know who the real person is behind a polite stranger. Hopefully this man stopped his horrible actions after being publicly confronted like this. In this video by Nathan Hughes, published this year, the YouTuber's dog Molly is visibly trembling as it stares off into space, huddled in fear on the sofa. What's wrong? What are you looking at? What is it? Molly? What is it? Are you okay? When asked if she wants a biscuit, Molly just looks over and goes back to staring and trembling at whatever she's seeing, completely ignoring the biscuit that her owner set on the pillow beside her. She is staring towards the door near the kitchen, shaking nervously when the owner tells her to eat her treat, nudging it closer to her mouth. She just continues staring in frozen fear. Then the owner walks around the front, facing the dog, asking what she's looking at, but she doesn't move a muscle. He closes the door to see if anyone is standing behind it. No one. Nothing is there. Throughout the entire video, Molly refuses to listen to her owner. Maybe the paranormal vision she saw made her lose her appetite or left her in so much fear that she is unable to move. A YouTuber named Josh Washi is exploring an abandoned building that he suspects is haunted. Long ago, this was a school, but now is little more than a crumbling collection of rickety rooms waiting for a closer look. He and his group somehow make it all the way to the attic without falling through the floor. Hidden at the far end is a door to an unknown room that makes them nervous. His friend Nate goes to open it, and that's when the urban exploration goes wrong. 
No, 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 that door just f opened by itself. That door just f opened by itself. At 3 minutes and 52 seconds, you can see Nate comes very close to touching the door, but ultimately does not, and is in fact moving away from the door when it mysteriously opens like a ghost is near. I think this video is real based on one thing. They were really worried about falling through the floor until they saw the door open and took off running, which could have gone very wrong. A man is enjoying the park in Salford, England, when this unsightly tree gives him pause. Everything looks completely normal from this angle, but then when you get just a bit closer, a grinning symmetrical face appears. This tree does face playground equipment, which provides somewhat of an explanation as to how this all started. I'm guessing some kids must have stripped some loose bark off out of curiosity, which is natural enough, but this gruesome one-eyed expression that settled in its place is anything but. Laney and Ben's notorious poltergeist is at it again. Published in February of 2022, this short clip shows yet another paranormal experience in their haunted home. Home. In the video, a small picture frame falls from a shelf onto the couch below. Then a cat toy is shoved abruptly over. The action is caught on a security camera set up in the room. Upon finding stuff moved, Ben takes viewers through the room using a Kinect app. The figure of a person momentarily appears on the couch, right where the frame has fallen. First it appears sitting, then it looks like it's laying down. Is the demon right in front of him? And what will he do next? A YouTuber named Piso Mojado records this zombie deer as it mindlessly spins around in circles at a public parking lot in the middle of the day. After a while, it briefly stops and has what could be considered a brief moment of clarity. You alright there, little guy? But then it falls over, gets up and resumes its frantic pacing. It runs in a half circle and heads towards the camera, but then it falls again and starts flailing wildly on the ground instead. The zombie deer seems dazed when it gets up a third time, like something has permanently changed in its mind. It calmly stumbles forward with a blank look in its eyes and drool falling from its mouth. Yeah, he's falling at the mouth. Watching this video, it's hard to tell if this deer has CWD or rabies like the uploader claims. The two share many common symptoms such as drooling, disorientation, and aggression, so we may never know for sure. Either way, this man is lucky this deer decided to run away at the last moment instead of continuing its slow and steady charge in his direction. This poltergeist is cooking up something scary. A YouTuber's security camera captured his kitchen coming to life. Moments later, this happened. And then... Not satisfied with the first couple forks, the poltergeist gets one last in for good measure. I'm guessing this poltergeist is either an angry cook or that he's a foodie who's lost his appetite in the afterlife. Julius Kitty has a child who won't stop looking up at the same spot on the ceiling and laughing for no apparent reason. It's almost as if someone or something is putting on a little show just for her, but clearly nothing is up there. After giggling for quite some time, the child suddenly grows silent and leaves the room while still looking up. Oh, are they leaving? You're following them, huh? The toddler follows whatever it is back into the room and tries to get his parents to see what she's looking at by pointing. Then she goes back over to the same spot and reaches up at the ceiling again. This time, it's almost like she wants to be picked up by whatever it is that she sees. Oh my gosh. 
creeping me out. If this is a spirit, then whatever form it's taking does not appear to upset the child. If anything, the toddler seems fascinated with its presence and wants to get a closer look. Let me know what you think this was, and if it is paranormal, tell me if you think this is a good spirit, maybe even that of a relative, or a bad one who is trying to gain the trust of a child. We've all done it, almost choked on something while distracted. But what should you do if you find yourself in this position while you're alone? This CCTV footage shows how a guy almost passed away while prepping a restaurant to open. The guy is doing his rounds, wiping down tables and getting everything in order, when suddenly he slows down, hitting his chest a couple times. It's clear something is going wrong, but he doesn't seem too concerned yet. He attempts to continue with his tasks for a moment, but then realizes this is serious. Walking to the middle of the floor, he bends to touch his knees and appears to be trying to stay calm. As he continues to pound his chest and bend over, trying to eject the piece of gum that's lodged in his throat, he starts to panic. He cannot breathe. He attempts to shout for help but nothing comes out. While panicking more and more and getting increasingly unsteady from lack of air, he attempts to give himself the Heimlich with his hands. Still nothing. He then positions a chair to give him the Heimlich, bending over it and trying to fall the right way. Having already gone a couple minutes without breathing, he does this a few times. No luck. It's starting to look like a lost cause, but at the last second, the gum ejects from his throat. He is able to stand up again and looks incredibly relieved, as he should. He nearly passed away from a piece of gum. Think you have creepy neighbors? Think again. Posted to the WTF subreddit, Protomancer writes, Just someone slithering through my neighbor's yard in the middle of the night. That description about sums this clip up, but let's take a look at the Nest camera footage. A stranger is seen lying on its stomach on the ground outside this person's home. After a moment, he starts moving in what is well described as a slither. He could actually be crawling with the camera distorting the movements into something even creepier. Not that army crawling across your neighbor's yard is normal at all. While some redditors think the dude is just playing night crawlers, others think the guy is on something. One redditor, however, shares another possible theory from first-hand experience. Chortophonic writes, Quite a few years ago, I had something similar happen, though I was several lawns away. The dude finally stopped on my lawn and we called 911 because he'd been caught with some other dude's wife, and it turns out her husband put a round in this guy. Um, I kind of hope it's one of the first two scenarios here. Orkun Is It Mac is a popular YouTuber from Turkey who goes exploring on all kinds of adventures. He's one of the few people willing to take a trip to the abandoned city of Chernobyl, a place where few dare to go after a nuclear power plant meltdown in the 80s left the area covered in radiation. He brings with him a Geiger meter used to measure levels of radiation, and a couple of scary moments are caught on camera. In this spot, the meter reaches about 50 units. That doesn't sound that bad, but then I realized an x-ray only takes seconds, whereas he's probably been standing here for hours. Big difference. And when he starts to go down here... Oh. The Geiger meter warns him not to. This tunnel is the heart of radiation, he says, and wisely turns around. The glare is covering the screen, so I don't know how many units the meter reached. But if it was in the hundreds, then permanent damage might have already been done in that instant. Later, as he's exploring a research facility lined with jars of old specimens, he finds a room with nothing but cribs, a room that no doubt has the scariest and most mysterious backstory of all. What was this facility working on, and why would they need to keep so many kids down here? 
This video features an exorcism in action as the man wails demon-like in the background, a Russian Orthodox priest places a holy book under his head and reads the ritualistic prayers or blessing while patting the possessed man on the chest. The man jerks and squawks, baring his teeth. <laughs> As the priest continues his duty without flinching, he begins to shake his head back and forth, pale as a ghost, a blank expression on his face, and then he is still. The priest lifts his head into view of the camera as he continues to perform the exorcism, pressing something to the man's forehead. The man's eyes are rolled into the back of his head, leaving only the whites of his eyes in view, a very disturbing image. He then closes his eyes and later whispers something to the priest. The footage ends shortly thereafter, and it's unclear if the exorcism was successful or not, but if you didn't believe in demonic possession before, after watching this video, you might just find yourself a believer. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.